Lieutenant Sarah Kokoski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi there, welcome to the show. Uh, hello, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. I hope you made it to the studio without any issues. No carjackings or drive-bys along the way. <laughs> no, no. Uh, fortunately, the streets of Night City are getting safer every day. We've seen recorded homicides drop from... So, looks like we found the last honest cop in this city. Her name's Anna Hamill, and whatever she's investigating, it's made her a lot of enemies. She'd do best to cut it out if you catch my drift. Okay, look, I know how it sounds, but somebody would have taken this gig anyway, right? I don't know. Maybe there's an angle you can play here. Either way, info's attached. Hey there, baby. I can give you what no brain dance ever could. Seen her around? Depends. Your cop? Nope. The lady I'm looking for is... That tooth-faced bitch. You want a confession out of me? It's gonna cost you. I don't do nothing for free. Done. Talk. She's holed up in this motel. Third floor, room 303. Have fun, baby.
name? Anna, drop this investigation. It's in your best interest. That a threat? I'd remind you, you're the one in the fucking crosshairs. Hey, easy. I just want to help. Help? Phonic implant must be fried. I think you men intimidate. Just to end your investigation. Really pissed off the wrong people. Which people? Tell me what fucking people! Your buddies at the NCPD set you up. Fucking. I fucking knew it! Robert Kowalski and Bill Adams! Motherfuckers! Let it go. It's not worth it. Yeah. Know what? I'm not letting scumbags get me killed! Fuck them! Fuck this job! Fuck this city! So, Anna, what's next for you? What? We choons all of a sudden? The hell do you care? I dropped the case like you wanted. You can fuck off, Merc. Got nothing to say to you, Chun. of the silver tongue, eh? Glad we got it all worked out. Contract closed. T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. So you are V. I'm sure you heard what happened. Real shame. She left a demon for you. A gift from beyond the grave. It should work on any third gen deck. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way.
T-Bug's death. What did you hear? The truth. They found the... Hmm. They say it's right. Poor girl. V? V? Consider this your lucky day. You hear Pacifica call and you make sweet love to it, that is. Got something for me? Well, it's like I said. Whatever you're peddling, the VTBS are just not in the market. But they have another task that needs doing. So I volunteered you. Do it well, and you'll get your audience with Brigitte. Okay. So who do I talk to and how? Hit the chapel on Sloan. Look for the altar inside. Someone will touch you, nod to you. Something spooky. Got it. Thanks. Well, fuck do you want? What now? Call for backup, crack some heads open, drag the bodies inside. Hey, there you go. Get you anything? Chuma mine earned a spot on the menu here. A chulo bowl with the bun? Yeah, I'm sorry to hear. Remember his drink? The recipe? Vodka on the rocks, lime juice, and ginger beer. And a splash of love. <laughs> That's right. In the drink's name. A Jackie Wells. Right. Well, the first Jackie Wells is on me. Could definitely go for a drink. Tough day? Well, like any other. So, what'll it be? Thanks, Claire. No problem. Just holler if you need anything. No. This trouble? The net around me? You wove it. You know it. I lost everything. Let me be you. plain. Again. Solve your own problems. Clean up you your own what, shit. Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain with. Need a fixer. Got something that can't wait. Let him in. Hmm. Not here. Not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Fucking rogue. Just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. 
Don't mess with her. She's got MRIs. See right through you. Give her the truth. Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer. Worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, Tiba. Multiple bells ring and be. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. They knew the risks. All sorts of shit happens. To all sorts of people. Even to the best. To you too, Rogue. Our Sokka Tower, remember? Who'd you lose back then? Johnny something... Ah. You came prepped. Of course. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm-hmm. See? Uh-huh. And if I don't have the scratch, it's fuck off and have a nice day? No. More like come back when you do. Them's the breaks. Mm-hmm. Then see ya. Soon. You know where to find me. Hey, interested in some work? Doing what? A business opportunity. Cargo transport. Get from A to B, quick and quiet. Interested? I'm listening. It's simple. You go to the Kabuki waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver it. Very straightforward. Yeah. Everything except my pay. Don't worry. There's a bonus in it for you. Imported and duty-free. Duty-free and detail-free? Yes, but altogether fair. It's a simple job, generously compensated. Do you accept? Yeah, sure, I'm in. Good. I knew we'd find acceptable terms. Head to the Kabuki waterfront, then search for a fridge with the words, No Future. Once you locate it, collect what you find inside, then call me for further instructions. <laughs> Till then, I guess. What's your problem? Did you anything? Hang on just a little longer, Chu. Ripper's on the way. Hey, look. 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 Hey, more likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe I ask them both.
Saw a weird image out on the street. Uh, seems like your line of work. What it look like? I grabbed a scan. Take a look. Taro, Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. You know, it'd be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. Well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right. Great. So, what do I do with a sign I can't understand from a power I know nothing about? I'd start by looking for more of them. The tarot describes a road. So go down it. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. I don't know. Come on back when you've found more. I'll help you decipher what you've seen. Listen, don't laugh, uh, but I've been seeing some weird shit around town, like murals or something, but I know they're not real. Uh, just a Kiroshi blip. Could take a look. No, no, the images are too complex for a blip. It's like they're symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that, or it's reached the cortex. Can you do anything? Nope. Better find a way to get rid of that chip. Jackie gave you these cards, right? I remember when he asked me to help him pick the right deck. Mm-hmm. He picked just the thing for me, too. I feel a real connection to this deck. We could lay out a spread for you now, if you like. Yeah. Why the hell not? Focus on the recent past and what you expect in the future. The Wheel of Fortune. Reversed. You'll meet some setbacks in the future. Consequences of poor decisions. Justice reversed. Be very careful with those you meet. Not all will be worthy of your trust. The High Priestess. Do not seek simp... Their bodies, they never age! But notice their eyes! Cold and dead. Their corporation exists only as cover for their wicked means to live, or rather, to remain undead. I tell you now, Saburo is not gone from our world. He rests undisturbed in the family crypt. 
He feasts on the blood of his servants, awaiting his body's rejuvenation. To return once more, mark my words! Wouldn't be totally shocker. Said on TV, Arasaka's working on immortality tech. A hollow lie to conceal their inhuman nature. Its source flows not through technology, but through their un... Immerse yourself in orange uh, Hey, V. About to start. You, uh, you got to take a piss or something? Uh, now's the time. Thanks for your concern. Let's start this rodeo. <laughs> Can't just yet. Not till you get in the range. Go on, set up, chop chop. How many we got? Just six? God damn. Well, no point crying about it. <clears throat> Rules are simple, right? There's the target, shoot it. Don't matter which one, go on and shoot your neighbors. Most hits wins. Uh, meaning hits on the target, not your neighbor. Oh, right. Uh, small caliber iron only. Don't go showing off with your fucking assault bangers or no rocket pukers, got me? First prize is a pistol. But, uh... A, a real nice one. It's fucking nice, I'm telling you. Anyway, uh, enough words. Get warmed up. Ready? Three. Two. Hey, hey! The hell said? The hell you doing with that double barrel? Said small caliber only. Uh, forgot my iron. Must be in my other jacket. And that's where you keep your gun in a holster. A holster! Get the fuck out of my sight, now! Fuck, Chun. Chill. I'm going. I'm going. Pearls before swine, for fuck's sake. All right. Three, two, one.
first place, Rudy. In second, Lisa. Rest of you hacks are a disgrace for crying out loud. Sorry, V. Thought you'd cream the competition, but guess you're not as sharp as I thought. Clearly having an off day. <laughs> no, the feeling. Been having a bad day for a decade now. Contest didn't do shit. Didn't sell a goddamn thing. Nothing. Should try not call them potential buyers Bush League. Yeah, maybe. Fuck! Gun something you gotta respect. If you don't know how to shoot, don't do it! Ugh. Ugh. Take care, me. I'll see you around. <laughs> I miss my sister. Get away from me. Don't talk to me. Hey, I don't think I know you. I'm Claire. You might not remember me. Bartender at the afterlife? Uh-oh. Forgot to close my tab. Bar has a buzz about you lately. As the merc who's reliable, gets things done. And since I need help... Okay. I need a driver. For street races. Drop by my auto shop. I'll tell you more. Your garage, where is it? In Arroyo, on Valley. Lovely spot. You can't miss it. All right. I'll try not to. If I'm not there when you arrive, just hang. I'll show up after my shift at the after. Okay. See you, Claire. Hold on.
heard you're home. Already. Sure got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me. The pool table? We got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. V. Nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night, when Jackie fell. Let's just say things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. I want to take part in the ceremony, but... I want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But something I'd lay by his casket... ...that'd do justice to his memory... I, ...I don't got anything. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. Ivy. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well... Human. I guess. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. No, Jack was a little of that too. Always looking on the bright side. He wore his heart on his sleeve. And wasn't at all afraid to live fully. Had his inner demons, though. Who doesn't? Exactly. They're what makes us who we really are on the inside. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. We need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on. It's a fine piece of metal in mechanics. He was so psyched.
Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. That's definitely why they're up there. Yeah. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it's a miracle he never wiped out. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie. Mm -hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Oh, Jackie. That a mandala? Mm hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala did the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous, but it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. An aquarium. It used to be taco. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark, like Minnie. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. Oh, I don't think he bought it. Jackie's favorite tequila. Oh, still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. What? The founder of Sanson Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. Well, how'd Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. Taking this, yeah. Perfect for Jackie. Well, you got something for your ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Nice still. Another belt. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. True memento, this.
better get going. Actually, the... I think I'll stay over there. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. I understand. Take care of yourself, Misty. Yeah. You too, V. You're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, v. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It all started when he put a heater to my head. Then some badges showed up and beat the shit out of us both. <laughs> it's half my fault, half his. And we hightailed it out together. Half an hour later, well, we're eating dinner at Mama Wells. Turned out to have more in common than we thought. Principles. Jackie Wells. Best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. And once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others.
He kept Haywood in his heart, always. He made him who he was. But most importantly... Jackie loved life and had no fear. Hard on his sleeve, he didn't overthink things. He just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. And, and that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. And if he's watching, I bet just about now, he's flipping them all the bird. He feared no one, and wasn't afraid. He lived life to the fullest. Rest easy, Chu. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful friend that we gave him. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. you, but I really can't accept this. I hope you understand. Cuídate, B. Pour you another? For Jaquito? Listening's a skill, you know. Need you to focus now, okay? Campos all torn up. Poor. Says he feels like he lost one of his own. I wonder if he'll be as torn up after you die. feared no one, and wasn't afraid. He lived life to the fullest. Rest easy, Chu. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful friend that we gave him. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, V.